Okay, C29, very simple, simple, uranium, Kazakhstan. Before I kick into things, I just wanted to ask the room a couple of questions. Who, if you could show by hand, who in the room has invested in a junior in Kazakhstan? That's good to hear. That's the right answer. <laughs> Pretty small number. Who in the room has experienced being or understanding of Kazakhstan as a, in the context of a junior explorer? Very few. And there lies a wonderful opportunity. It's a new jurisdiction and it's, it's open for business, it's open for Western uh, investment and uh, you know, we're, having, we're finding it a very, very good place to do business. Okay, so with that context, we, we see that, that opportunity. Okay. Okay. In terms of project development, in the context of a junior explorer, there's some really key ingredients that you need to have that are really going to determine how well you perform in the coming years. We all know it's not easy in the junior exploration space, but there are some absolute necessities to really give yourself that moonshot. And we see some of those as a Western-friendly investment jurisdiction that is critical to, to your future trajectory as a company. We also see a transparent and uh, a modern approval and regulatory system as being a necessity. Without that, it's very hard to navigate, it's very hard to know what the next step is, et cetera, et cetera. And I'm sure you've all experienced that in some jurisdictions. It must also be supportive of the commodity that you are exploring for. There's really not a lot of point being in a jurisdiction that does not support the development of your commodity. I see that as, as absolutely a necessity. I'm sure you've all heard the old adage, grade is king. And I think that has stood the test of time and will always stand the test of time. If you want to have a project of development merit, it needs to carry the grade. It's very hard when things are marginal. And scale. You need line of sight and runway to scale. Without scale, again, it's very hard and it limits your development opportunities and prospects without that scale. And I mean that in the context of being able to attract the bigger predators, uh, etc. Without scale, there's not going to be many talking to you. Okay, so in the context of that, Kazakhstan. It's very, very friendly to Western investment. They're leaning very hard to the West. And, uh, you know, when you're in country, you see it everywhere. Some of the big players are already up there, the Rio Tintos and BHPs and so forth. They're already up there. Aluka was up there a few years ago. Um, so the big players understand the opportunity that Kazakhstan offers. In 2018, they introduced a new mining code. That mining code was largely based on Western Australia's mining code as a globally recognised mining code. And uh, they, had, they largely adopted that with the, the, the changes that, that they needed. It's a very transparent regulatory system, as we have found so far, our approval processes, et cetera, all laid out, all mapped out, and we're stepping through it. Grade. So we have a declared foreign estimate of 9.8 million pounds at just under 3,000 ppm. That's grade. Compare that to our peers. We also have drilling intersects 
from almost zero and zero, running at plus six and plus 7,000 ppm at 30 to 40 metre intercept widths. Again, significant intercept widths, talk about scale, we talk about grade, compare that grade to our peers. There's not too many peers, even on the development curve, that offer grade anywhere near that. That's the compelling case for us, and that was one of the compelling reasons why we took on this project. When we also talk about scale, our reported estimate, foreign estimate, is from a very, very small little area of the tenement. We've got 28 square kilometre tenement. We believe the mineralised trend runs through our tenement and continues on. And we have a lot of brownfield and greenfield runway in front of us. So for scale, we see the significant opportunity within the tenement that we currently own. In terms of where we're at right now, we're in the final throes of gaining our approvals to start our soil sampling program scale-wide across the tenement and also commence our drilling. We're hoping that we're not too far away uh, from those approvals being granted. The game plan is that we should be seeing the drill rig spinning back end of Q3, so around September, we should have the drill rig drilling. We'll have geos on site before then, doing all the soil sampling and doing all the, the prerequisite work that we need to do to get, the, uh, to get the drill program going. Cost, another really important factor when you talk about project development. So in Kazakh, our drilling costs sitting around, in round numbers, about $100 USD all in for drilling, excluding our geological costs. You compare that again to some of our peers, we're hearing some pretty horrific cost numbers coming out of the US and, and Canada, and we've heard up to $900 a metre. So you think about how far I can make every dollar go compared to some of our peers, puts us in a very, very good position from a cost perspective and a cash burn perspective. We can get a lot further in terms of building scale than any of our really any of our contemporary peers. Our game plan. Our game plan is to rapidly grow our footprint and we're in the process of, of doing a lot to, to achieve that. We want to grow, scale and build a development uranium business with a significant high grade in ground pound resource uh, that would be attractive to large partners to partner with or whatever that else that may look like. So we have a game plan to rapidly expand multi-rig, multi-tenement programs uh, running in the, in, the, in the near future. Um, and, and that is our, our business plan for over the next couple of years to really grow our in-ground inventories that's one of, the, one of the number one valuation matrix for uranium development play, uh, and we're following that path. So that's really, that's really C29 in a nutshell. We're centrally focused on our uranium business in Central Asia, in Kazakhstan, um, and uh, we've only been going three and a half months, and we've already moved a long way down that curve. Mm -hmm.